They're gonna try to get their hands on any evidence they can to hurt the family. So you're saying shred the evidence? No, that's illegal. The prosecution is entitled to that evidence. Without it, they don't have a case. So you're saying shred the evidence? That's a felony. And I certainly couldn't endorse anything like that. Gotcha. Wink. Wink. Did you say wink, or did you wink? He said that too, Dad. We'll talk soon, folks. Thank you. Where are you going? Where's the circuit going? Stay there. I want to see what he's going to say. Don't leave. See you, Pop. You know, Joe, instead of trying to impress your fake father, maybe you should spend some time with your real son. Steve Holt's not my son. Steve Holt? With the moron jock? It's my son, you pothead. Hey, that's my son. Wait, wait so that means that Steve Holt is my cousin? And maybe his cousin, too. I guess. Shoot, I'm late for my date. Yeah, at, at the kennel, right? Sorry, you lobbed that one right over the plate, Michael. Home run. And Michael hurried to the British section of Orange County for his date. Get out of the road! Only to find that Rita had chosen We Britain's one American-themed restaurant. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, I'm late. Oh, uh, no bother. I've been having such fun on the space shuttle. Strike one, huh? Shall we go ahead and sit down? Hey, dudes, I'll get you a couple of 64-ounce colas to wash down this basket of donuts and get your nachos started. Guess this is what the British think of Americans. We like our food. Whatever do you mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, uh, Rita, you're going to figure this out eventually, but I have not been on a date in a long, long time. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> you know, I'll bet men ask you out constantly. Not men like you. I seem to only meet little boys. Part of that might be that you spend your day to preschool. <laughs> and I think the stupidest <laughs> things are funny. Yeah, that's that's a cultural problem is what it is. You know, you, you, your average American male is in a perpetual state of adolescence, you know, arrested development. Hey, that's the name of the show. No attention span, you know, can't even carry on a, a typical convert. Michael thought he spotted the man who'd threatened him earlier. Well, I'm getting back on the space shuttle. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, sorry. Sid, please. Let's talk about you. Tell me about your family. No. They're pushy, bossy, want to control me. What about your family? I'd love to meet your family. Michael knew from experience that this would not turn out well. Usually once or twice a week, we get it. We get it. If you like the small, why don't you come back for the medium? Right? Can you even see that, right? I probably should warn you about my mother. Let's start behind the fridge. So he came up with a solution so simple, he wondered why he'd never told anyone it before. I don't have a family. I can't believe I've never told anybody that before. That's so sad. Yes, sad, super sad. Shall we eat? Michael had started a relationship by lying about the existence of his family. I think this went really well, huh? Maybe sometime we can have dinner? Did I see your house? Michael was caught off guard by the question. No, no, I, 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 I can't do that. Okay, bye, bye. Uh, bye. And he vowed not to be caught off guard again. Well, I didn't mean to. Oh. So did he invite you over, Dan? Not yet, but he will. So Michael went back to work. Hey. Joe, you can't shred this evidence. You'll end up in jail. Dad told me to. How can I say no to that face? Get this stuff out of here and put it somewhere where, where Dad can't get to it. Are you in on this, too? No, I'm just here to go out to lunch with your father. And said he's never felt more free in his life. I'm like a bird up there.